today we are going to see about the topic the mughal empire empire in the sense group of countries that is governed one country first the period of mughal emperors there is six mughal emperors to rule the mughal period 1526 to 1707 was the period of mughal then there is a uh, then there is a six mughal emperors first one babar 1526 to 1530 second king humayun 1530 to 1540 and again 1555 to 1556 Fo third king akbar 1556 to 1605 fourth king jahangir 1605 to 1627 fifth king sajahan 1627 to 1658 sixth king aurangzeb 1658 to 1707 First introduction. In India, a new a new beginning will be started at the entry of Mughal king Babur. Will be lasted. Then Mughal empires will started to ruled from AD fifteen twenty six to seventeen not seven. Fifteen twenty six to seventeen not seven. Maximum one eighty one one eighty one years. The Mughal empires should be ruled. Those 1526 to 1707 year, uh, seven was the most important years for Mughal empires because those periods Mughal empires should spoke by all over the Asia and Europe. After 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 given these six six Mughal emperor empire Mughal emperors Mughal empire began to destroyed. Then first we see about Babur 1526 to 1530 ancestry and his yearly career we move on with his yearly career zagiruddin muhammad babar as babar he was the founder of mughal empire in india and then he was his his real name was zagiruddin muhammad but he was popularly known as babar term mughal can be derived from his ancestors ancestors in the sense grandparents Babur was the great grandson of Taimur in his father's side and his mother's side grandfather was Yunus Khan who he was the great Khan of Mongols and he was born in 14th February 14, 1483 and he was named as Zagiruddin Muhammad and at the age of 12 he was at the age of 12 he uh, he got the he got the opportunity to rule the small kingdom in Asia as an inherited property of Farhana. But he was forced to leave by Uzbeks. After 10 years, Babur established Kabul Kabul and ruled and rule it. And ruled it. Foundation of the Mughal Empire. While he was in Kabul, he remind he reminded the memories of Taimur, so he set his attention towards the eastwards. In fifteen in fifteen not five, he captured Kabul. After that, the same year he started the first journey towards India. Even though he gives some attention to the place of Central Asia, but until fifteen twenty four. He didn't have any opinion to capture beyond Punjab. At the time, at the time he had a great opportunity. Dilawar Khan, who he was the Dawlat Khan Lodi's son, and Alam Khan, he was the he was the uncle of Sultan from Delhi. Two of them arrived in Kabul to meet Babur, and also they seek the Babur's help to remove Ibrahim Lodi from his ruling power. So Babur, so Babur defeated Ibrahim Lodi at 1526 in the first first battle of Panipur, and he occupied both Delhi and Agra. Following this, following this victory, Mughal dynasty established in India with the capital of Agra. Babur's military conquest in 1527, Babur defeated Rana Rana Sangha. And his supporters in and uh, and also his supporters in Kanwa. Then he won the uh, he won the war against the chief of Chand 
சந்தேரி இன் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ஹி ஆக்குபைட் ஆல் ஓவர் த ஆஃப்கான் ஆஃப்கான் ஷீ of his victory babar died in 1530 but he was a well versed scholar in turkish and persian language he wrote a autobiography named as tusuki tusuki baburi in that autobiography he he recorded his impressions on hindustan animals plants trees fruits flowers chengiz khan selected his son selected his sons as his hair by following their tradition and also babar chose his favorite oldest son humayun as his heir so next ruler of mughal empire empire was humayun